This small Pacific island, accessed only by military aircraft, may look picturesque, but this is no vacation spot. Iwato, formerly known as Iwo Jima and located roughly 750 miles south of the Japanese mainland, is where in 1945 American and Japanese forces battled for control over the island and its vital airfields. Iwoto is our temporary facility while we await the identification of a permanent facility here in Japan for a field carrier landing practice. Now, we've been using it for many years. It gives us uh, an authentic replication of the environment out at the ship. Uh, again, it gives us very good training uh, for our operations in the carrier qualification and then shipboard operations. More than 70 years later, Iwato and its modern-day airfield provide pilots from Carrier Air Wing 5 an opportunity to practice and perfect launching, landing, and touch-and-go qualifications. So the majority of aircraft you'll see out there uh, with American markings on them will be the Super Hornets uh, from Carrier Air Wing 5. Uh, that includes the Echo, Fox, and Golf model, so uh, the fighters and the jammers. Uh, they'll be out there again for about 10 days uh, as the squadrons rotate through their training. Aside from practicing during the day, pilots also train at night as part of their training routine. Pilots practice a total of three daytime practices and three nighttime practices. This is half the time pilots in the U.S. get to train and qualify due to the high operational tempo of the forward deployed carrier. The squadrons will rotate through training within a 10-day period. So we maintain both our combat effectiveness for our alliance uh, requirements here in Japan and the theater requirements, uh, and also to do it safely uh, so that we can protect our families and the Japanese people. Field carrier landing practice is one of the many ways our forward deployed naval force stays mission ready. Reporting from Iwato, Japan, I'm Petty Officer Raymond Diaz.